So this is our last example for 4.3. And this one is a fifth degree, which means that we're looking for five. Okay, so I'm going to actually write that out. Because it's a fifth degree, we know that it has to have a minimum of one real root. But they did tell us two of the five. So I'm going to go ahead and list out my five X's because I'm looking for five. They told me that I had one at I, which means I also have one at negative I. So we are ready. When you multiply X plus I times X minus I, you get X squared plus one. So let's go ahead and set up our long division. So hopefully you're becoming more familiar with the process of how to do long division. We will begin by dividing 2x to the fifth by x squared. So 2x to the fifth divided by x squared gives us 2x cubed. I want to line that up with our like terms. So now we're going to take 2x cubed and multiply it by x squared. So 2x cubed times x squared would be 2x to the fifth. 2x cubed times 1 is 2x cubed. We do our sign changes, which means they both become negative, and then we are ready to add. This one cancels. I'm going to carry down my negative 3x to the fourth. Combine my like terms. That gives me negative 8x cubed, and I'll bring down the negative 6x squared. Let's divide again. Negative 3x to the 4th divided by x squared is negative 3x squared. So now we're going to multiply negative 3x squared times x squared. And that's negative 3x to the 4th. And then negative 3x squared times 1 is negative 3x squared. So this cancels. Don't forget we have to change both of our signs, which is why it cancels. Drop down the negative 8x cubed. Combine your like terms. That gives you negative 3x squared. And I'm going to bring down the negative 8x. Let's divide negative 8x cubed by x squared, and that's going to give us a negative 8x. Multiply negative 8x times x squared plus 1, and that gives us negative 8x cubed times negative 8x change our signs and we're going to drop that down. Now we have two things canceling out and we're ending with a negative 3x squared and finally we can bring down the negative 3. We're going to divide the negative 3x squared by x squared. That gives us a minus 3. Minus 3 times x squared is negative 3x squared. Again, we have a negative 3. We're ending with a 0, so I feel confident. So this one here is not a quadratic, which means that we cannot solve it by factoring or using the quadratic formula. So what we're going to do is we're going to test what we learned, and that is when we're trying to find the remaining roots of this third degree. And if we use what we learned about P over Q, we can determine what are some of the possible real roots. So I know that some of the possible real roots, if I use the P over Q theorem, would be negative 1, positive 1, positive 3, and negative 3 positive one-half, negative one-half, 
positive 3 halves and negative 3 halves. So now I'm going to test that. So always start with positive 1 and we're going to do synthetic division. Now because I've done this in advance I already know that positive 1 doesn't work but negative 1 does work. So I'm going to use synthetic division. And so because negative 1 works I know I can put a negative 1 here. So I have 3 solutions because negative 1 is actually going to work. And now I'm going to list my coefficients. So I have 2, negative 3, negative 8, and negative 3. Drop down that first number. Then you multiply negative 1 times 2. You add, multiply negative 5 times negative 1, add, multiply negative 3 times negative 1, and when you add. So this becomes our quadratic here because we finally made it down to our quadratic, which is what we wanted to do so that we know we can factor it. So to find the last two, we are going to factor 2x squared minus 5x minus 3. This factors down to x minus 3 and 2x plus 1. So my last two solutions are x equals 3 and x equals negative 1 half. Which were, both of these were, um, two solutions that we had found um, using that p over q. Both of these were two possible roots, two possible rational roots. And now we have found all five solutions to this function. Two were imaginary and three were real.